Okay, here's how you do the uh, second coolest photography hack on earth. What you need to do is get you some elastic cord like this. Um, now you need to make one piece and it will be big enough for any lens because it is going to self cinch. Um, rough length of it is going to depend on your height but basically make it about to 14 inches long. You see here, great. I just loop one lens, one loop around the lens and bring it through like that. That way it self cinches. Obviously since this is internal focus, we'll work on anything with internal focus because nothing out here is turning other than the zoom. So nothing over here is affected, okay? Now you don't want too much tension. You want roughly about three to four pounds of tension. So when you're actually pulling up on your camera and lens, the only thing that you have is tension. You're actually hand holding the lens here. The only thing you have is basically three to four pounds of tension out here. You can, you can, you know, guesstimate on that. Um, if you, you know, if you don't know what three to four pounds is, you know, go figure it out. Um, obviously, you take a piece of nylon, a non-stretchy nylon, make yourself a foot loop here, and make sure it is the correct length. Okay, dangle this down. You'll you take the other end. Uh, get yourself a little uh, uh, keychain carabiner, okay? Goes like that, okay? So that at perfect level, you know, shooting on the horizon, you have roughly between three to five pounds of tension. So wherever you have roughly three to five pounds of tension on the lens, shooting, uh, uh, you know, shooting at the horizon, then you just to tie this off. Therefore, you have the correct length here, and that's pretty easy. So. Once you're done, before you need it, this is great for concerts and stuff where you can't take a monopod, obviously, you know, certain little gigs. I can shoot, this is no lie, inside my house, I can shoot uh, uh, 20 yards across from one side of the house, pointing at a, uh, a FedEx tracking number that's uh, on, on the refrigerator and be able to read the tracking number from uh, that distance at one eighth of a second I think at uh, 240 millimeters somewhere around there so incredibly incredible not a gimmick incredibly useful so this is the one foot loop so it's extremely fast and what do you do with the excess when you're done you just bring it around the lens you can actually bring it around the zoom like this and cinch it off okay loop it through. Remember that it's elastic? So just bring it through and loop it through so it's out of the way. Like so. See? Out of the way. And when you want to employ it, boom. You just unwhip it, clip it, stick your foot through the other end, boom. Works awesome. I bet you haven't seen this trick before. Other people said, well I've seen the two foot trick before. You showed us that. That's really neat. I forgot about that. But I wonder if any of you have actually seen this trick before. Someone will probably say they have, but they might not have. But it doesn't make any difference. The point is it works. It works awesome. It is damn fast, and it is damn handy. Okay, so that's how you do that trick. Catch you later. Bye.